I'm the uh, executive pastor, and my role at uh, Mission is to produce the weekend services and then oversee all the operations of the church. One of the other hats that I get to wear uh, is I produce events for other Christian organizations around the country. My first thing I did was call some of my, uh, uh, my audio buddies and uh, ask them if they were going to put a, a desk in, which one would they choose, and to a person, it, it came back. Uh, came back to the venue. I am the worship pastor here at Mission Community Church. I oversee all the music that happens on Sunday morning in our main sanctuary as well as giving oversight to all of the, the rest of the music across campus. Coming to, to Mission and having the, the consoles that we have and the system that we have has been a completely new thing for me. I've always used analog consoles in the past so this whole process of kind of getting to know digital consoles and that whole world has been a new thing for me. I am the director of audio here at the church. I oversee all the audio in this main room here. Going from an analog technology into venue was huge. Not only just the flexibility of digital technology, the recallability, but the overall sound quality of venue was unbelievable. Uh, one of the first things I experienced when we switched over from analog to digital was I actually had band members coming up to me who really knew nothing about the technology behind uh, the mix position, but they understood or they could hear it from their vantage point on stage, the difference and depth of venue compared to that analog console we replaced. And it, it, was, it was a night and day experience for me to go from analog into venue and just the overall depth, the stereo imaging of venue uh, was just great. The clarity and the, the quality of the, of the sonic quality of, of the stuff is, is awesome. Having a venue here at Front of House and monitors both is, has been huge. One of the key aspects of it is being able to recall. Several times during the week, there'll be other people come in, do uh, things on the console, uh, make changes, so on and so forth. So the, the ability for me to come in and just pre by the press of a button, get back to exactly where I was the week before, I know that no landmines have been laid for me is, is a huge thing. I oversee all the audiovisual technology here on campus. Um, that includes Sunday worship as well as all the events that go on throughout the week. If our front of house operator is not going to be able to make it to a Thursday, we can e easily call up last Sunday's scenes and uh, get kind of a baseline. To be able to dial up settings from the last time that particular drummer played or that particular guitar player played, that really helps us cut down on uh, our sound check time. Being able to, to switch between those scenes and, and have different mi unique mixes for each song has just been phenomenal for us, especially because of the, the, the wide variety of instrumentation that we use. For me particularly, being someone that's playing a couple different acoustics and electric, piano, moving around a lot, being able to quickly go to the next song has just been awesome for us. I, I use snapshots for every part of the service. I snapshot and automate every song as well as all the uh, host, the announcement portions, as well as the message portion of the service. It really allows me to keep the mood depending upon what's happening in the service. So if things need to be extremely quiet, I can automate those on, off mutes, those fader movements, and just the transitions uh, can be so smooth and seamless, um, I don't have to worry about microphones being you know, dropped or set down, guitars being unplugged, those types of things. That can really be a distraction to the overall service. If it's just the pastor up there on stage, that's all you're gonna hear. Having the plug-in uh, architecture on venue is just huge. Being able to, um, you know, run upwards of 30 to 40 plug-ins on this system here week to week, and I don't have any outboard rack, I don't have any heat sources, I don't have any cabling issues. I fire up the console and they're there in play so I can change my reverbs at the push of a button and my delays and so on and so forth. That seamless integration is huge to have within Venue. The sound quality of the snapshots are, you know, just unparalleled with anything out there. Um, with the addition of Venue 2.9 and uh, we're incorporating Pro Tools 9 as well, there's the Venue Link feature and that is just phenomenal now. We have roughly 40 tracks of input going to tape. Pro Tools week to week, uh, the ability for me to just start up a session and it automatically lays out my session as I have it on venue and automatically does all the inputs for me. It saves me 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes each day. The Pro Tools integration uh, is also key here. Uh, everything is multi-track. Um, I use that primarily um, for posting the message. We can have the message posted almost immediately after the first service. Literally, the, the message can be posted, edited, 
uh, cleaned up, EQ'd, compressed, limited, all that, and be up online um, by the time the second service starts by integrating Pro Tools here. For live environments, it's been, uh, it's been wonderful. For the recording work that, uh, that we have a vision to do, it's been great. All the things that were promised, it's, it's delivered, and the support has been great.